Hello, hello, familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies. But goodie. Well, fam, we're back. I've been on a roll with these lip swatches. So Huda Beauty released new lip glosses. She's never released a lip gloss before, which is why I thought it was very important to review for you so you guys can see how it looks. It comes in her typical black box. They're called the Full Filler Lip Gloss. This is the shade Sugar Baby. They come in seven shades. I didn't get the clear one because it's clear, so I wanted to get the colorful one so you can see. Oh, by the way, I just got my nails done. Ooh. Okay, this is how it looks. Packaging is so cute. I love clear packaging. For me, it's just like super adorable. I don't know. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. Whoa, a little bit of a scent. This is how the doe foot look. I like that. I like when it tapers at the end because it really helps you get into the lips, especially if you have baby lips like me. So as you guys know, or if you don't know, if you're new, welcome, welcome. I typically do lip swatches in studio lighting and in daylight so you can see the true color. And I don't ever wear a lip liner or anything of any other product on my lips so you can see the true color. Of course, you can always add a lip liner. That's always helpful. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to lip swatch everything here at the beginning. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you all the deets about this. Let me show you on my phone the order we're going and then let's get started i'm excited this is the order we're gonna go in they look super pigmented from where i'm standing i love how they have huda beauty and then faux filler super cute clear packaging and then the shade names at the bottom but it's clear so i don't know if we can see no but we get the gist so this is the order kind of lightest to darkest oh my god i'm super excited let's see all right starting off with numero uno sugar baby This is the shade Sugar Baby. And in daylight, this is Sugar Baby. Next one up is Honey. This is the shade Honey. And in daylight, this is Honey. Next one up is Foxy. This is the shade Foxy. And in daylight, this is Foxy. Next up is Bombshell. This is the shade Bombshell. And in daylight, this is Bombshell. Next one up is Posh. This is the shade Posh. And in daylight, 
like this is posh. Last but certainly not least is Coco. Here we are, here we are, ooh, not with this hair. So, wow, okay, I'm a little, I got some things to say, but let me give you info about these and then we'll go. The new Huda Beauty Full Filler Shiny Non-Sticky Lip Gloss retail for $19. They come in seven shades. These are a hydrating non-sticky lip gloss for high shine lips that visibly smooths and blurs fine lines. The highlighted ingredients is vegan collagen that smooths the look of lip lines. I purchased mine at Sephora. <sighs> These remind me literally of the Makeup by Mario ones. These right here, literally they feel literally like the same this is what shade is this spice and maybe it's close to cocoa the only thing about the mario ones i feel like they're a little more on the pigmented side so huda beauty and mario you see mario has more pigment but these formulas are very thin depending on how you like your lip glosses is really depending if you're gonna like these because the formula is thin anytime i would open this like this you know how i, I was pulling it a little chunk kind of flies out it flew on my jeans and on my desk I saw that happen with the majority, not all of them, but just keep in mind when you pull it out, you do it too rough, it's gonna flick. And girl, makeup, you know, never comes off of clothes unless like you really get a makeup wipe and scrub it immediately. Formula is very thin. I would definitely suggest the lip liner because I could already, already see it is going to bleed. And I wanna show you because the formula is thin, it gets into all your fine lines and you can really see it. Let me show you. That's not a bad thing. It is something that happens with thin formula lip glosses these are definitely not sticky like the description says they have a nice high shine when you apply it it gives you a feel of like a thicker lip gloss but as it sits on your lips it becomes that thin formula and that's when it kind of goes all over the place and it bleeds out of your lips personally that's not my favorite type of formula of a lip gloss I like my lip glosses to be a little bit thicker just so that in case I want to just wear it by itself it doesn't bleed out and it doesn't get into the crevices of my lips I do have texture on my lips I mean we all do it's nice I think they're beautiful I think the shades are very nice they all really went very well I would say my favorites are these three are foxy bombshell and posh felt like it really gave my lips that nice little pout because they're so natural looking I think they're okay I don't think they're like super revolutionary I find that they're just another lip gloss oh wow look in my teeth and then the formula for me I like a thicker formula that's just it it's really preference you definitely get what the description says so it's a high shine very lightweight does it smooth out your lips a little bit but if you get close it does get into your texture of your lips they're 19 bucks they're not too too expensive I do want to show you here the swatches of the shades on my arm so you can have another POV how the undertones are and you could tell the formula here is a little bit thin all in all these are okay would I buy them again probably not probably just buy one and just use it as an everyday gloss because it's very lightweight it's not too sticky or thick if you like that it'll definitely work I really like how the high shine is too I like a very high shine lip gloss I mean I feel like that's the point of a lip gloss is to give you a glossy lip and kind of make your lips appear a little bit pouty you know but this is it fam I'm of course not going to do wear test or a eat test because as we can see here they transfer Ooh, they're really gone look you see could tell that the formula is really thin because it's gone gone that's how the marios were and i'm jumping in really quick because i didn't give you alternatives the huda beauty lip gloss weren't the greatest so my alter 
So my alternative Fenty lip gloss is literally one of my all-time favorites. It stays put, it's thick, it has high shine, beautiful, and the Maybelline lifter glosses, either the plump or the regular ones are so bomb. Consistency is that thickish consistency that stays put on the lips with the high shine. Both of these are bomb. I'll link them for you. You know what I wanted to do actually? I wanna add a lip liner and then see. These are definitely hydrating. I will say every swatch I removed, my lips felt so nice and hydrated. With the lip gloss, I mean with the lip liner, you can see it gets a little bit darker. That's typically what lip liners do. Lip liners will enhance the look of any lip gloss, which is why I don't ever use it because I want you to see how the product truly, truly looks. Of course, adding a lip liner will make things better all the time. I mean, I wear lip liner literally daily. Let me know your thoughts. Have you gotten this? Will you be buying these? I bought mine at Sephora. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for asking me to review this because I did get a few requests and I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.